I literally can't do it. You know I do it. I would do it. If we were on a different, I would do it, but I can't. I can't. I gotta be. Yes, TikTok. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, TikTok. Jesse, Sean, Jeremy, thank you guys for the joins. We have three final spots left for Book Club now, you guys. I don't know, just come get comfy, stay well, grab a snack. It's just weird o'clock. If I'm live, I don't want to see anyone in the chat asking me what this stream is about. Here. I'm just being weird, and if you like me, and you like the view. <laughs> I found Emily. Thanks guys for the help. Who the fuck is Emily? <laughs> what are we talking about? Who is Emily? There's been this like mysterious Emily girl in our chat or something for like an hour. You guys, should I stream on kick? Would you guys would you guys convert over to kick if I started streaming that? Who the fuck is Emily? <laughs> Okay, we have three spots left for book club. You can join book club by tapping my Instagram bio. Down bad for Willow 4 is my Instagram, you guys. And after dark Willow as well. Tell them to give me an offer. Mm, I'm not an established streamer, but it is super smart to jump on a platform early before it pops off. And with all the stuff happening with Twitch right now, it is kind of smart, but we've talked about this before. I feel like we've all talked about this before. Committing to live streaming full time is like crazy. But I do, once I have an office that's legit and not an Airbnb office. Jacob, let's go. I'm gonna modify it, make it a stream room. Okay, we have two spots left now. You can join my book club by tapping my Instagram bio. F3, let's go! You guys, we have one spot left for book club. This is nuts. Okay, Bert, thank you for the joy you're gone. Okay, fuck it. Should I just put up 10 more? I'm putting up 10 more, because I'm getting, I don't, I want you guys to join. I'm excited. So, <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'm putting up 10 more spots. I promise, I promise. Don't yell at me. Okay. All right, they're live. So, yeah, once I have a proper setup, I'm, I'm probably gonna have like two different laptops going. <laughs> like two phones, and then I'm gonna be on like multi-platforms at one time. I've done that once. I streamed on Twitch, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and another place that I cannot say all at the same time one day. I don't know why I like got, it was so fun though. It was like, it was such a wild experience. In my ideal world though, that is how you maximize your time, baby. You just have all your devices up and everything's going and flowing, but TikTok is still number one. Like Facebook, I ended up having like 50 viewers. Twitch, I had nine. Literally nine, because they have no like discovery. It's a bring your people to our platform type of platform. There's no internal discovery unless you have viewers and to get viewers, you have to bring your audience in first. So it's a great strategy for them because they force their creators to bring the audience to their platform. They don't have to do the work. Um, similar to another place that you may or may not know of. That's their whole philosophy as well. Like imagine if there was a search option on that platform, like, wow, save me some mental health. <laughs> uh, I love you, thank you. So yeah, but TikTok's always popping and then Instagram's the same way. They don't really have a push discovery for live streaming, but we'll see, we'll see Kick. I haven't tried Kick yet. I might have one day. I forget, actually. I think I set up a profile. But it's on my TDL. 